Bienshore is Sandia Resort and Casino's fine dining destination. And joining us is chef de cuisine, Mark Quinones. And I'm so happy to have you here. Thank you. I'm happy yeah, to be thank here. Thank you for it's coming. It's great to have you. And mm -hmm. Mark's been in New Mexico, you said, for four years? Yeah, cooking from New four York. years, yeah. That's amazing. As a, as a kid, I, I went to high school out here. and Oh, nice. Yeah, and then I kind of went back to New York and... I moved to Arizona and I went to Hawaii for a little bit. Wow! And then wow. I came back. So even everywhere. And then you met your wife, and yes. now and that and the rest is history. Yeah. And tell us about Bien Sur. Yes. Well, Bien Sur is located on the ninth floor of the Sandia Resort and Casino, so okay. we're on top. Oh. And it's an absolutely gorgeous restaurant. Oh. We have panoramic views of the entire city of Albuquerque, <gasps> and the Sandia Mountains. Well, the, the resort and casino itself mm -hmm. is so beautiful. Yeah, right. I mean, when you see it, it's like, it's just a standalone. It's like a castle, you know? So I can right. imagine the view is so romantic. Yeah, absolutely. Uh -huh. I love that. And what's your signature dish that you... This is a pan-roasted... Is this a, your signature dish? Absolutely, you yeah. <laughs> this is pan-roasted Chilean sea bass mm. okay. with a wild mushroom risotto, Yum. a little sautéed spinach, mm -hmm. and a poissano creme sauce, oh my which gosh. in French means that a French... Good. Uh, it's a fish cream sauce. Okay. That's incredible. Yeah. So now, okay, so if anybody is going to attempt to do this, you know, it's a holiday weekend, good time to practice and experiment with some new recipes. Okay. So if they're at home and they want to try this, where do they begin? What's the first step? Well, first of all, you want to get your fish. Okay. Okay. Where do you get yours? I get mine through Seattle Fish. Okay. Yeah. I always like to ask Yeah, for chefs. anybody at home, you can go to a local supermarket. Okay. Right? And what I do is I do about seven to eight ounce portions. Okay. okay. I use salt. And white pepper. White pepper. Yeah, I white love pepper that. because of the fact that the black specks and getting your teeth. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. That's true. So now, olive oil, is that what you're using? This is grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil. Yeah, and I prefer grapeseed oil because of the fact that it has a really high smoke point. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so. What's that mean? It means that it can get really, really, really hot without right. over smoking, as you can see. Ah, I love that. Yeah, is that what that is right there? Yeah, so it's it's right green. here. And it has like no flavor to it whatsoever. Really? Oh, yeah, so, yeah. It, doesn't, so it, it doesn't taint the flavor. Right, of it the doesn't mask the integrity of the the flavor of what the, the product is. Oh, I love oh, that. Yeah. Now you, so you put the white pepper, you put the salt, you right. put it in the grapeseed oil. Now did you put any kind of breading or anything on that? Absolutely not. You're kidding no. me. No. This is what you call a hard sear. Oh. And again, by using the grapeseed oil, you're able to get that nice, really hot temperature. And you sear the fish, you get that nice color. Yeah, yeah. it looks crispy too. Exactly. And how long, how long on each side do you generally like I to? I do about four and a half minutes on each side. Okay. okay. Yeah, that, that seems to work to work Fabulous. for me. That doesn't right. take long. Yeah. And then of course we get to the risotto. Mm -hmm. And what is it, what is the story with this? Because I never make it well. I, I don't know. I'm a pretty good okay. cook, but this is never my specialty. Okay. I need help. This is the key. Okay. When you when you're making risotto from scratch, uh -huh. you mm -hmm. want to have your arborio rice. Okay. And your chicken stock. Chicken stock. Yeah. So okay. or you can use vegetable stock as well if you wish. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. What I do is you want to keep st stirring your risotto constantly. Okay. okay. What that does is, you know how risotto is nice and creamy? Yeah, it's like mushy. It's like do you want me to be stirring this right now? Do you want me to stir? No, actually, it's okay right now. It's okay now? Yeah. So you just do it in the beginning? Right, this is par cooked. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. So I'm talking before you actually add the cream. Oh, got it. Yeah, when you add so your you chicken stir. stock, you keep mixing it, and that's going to release the starches in the rice, mm. and that's what lends itself to the nice creamy consistency that, that we achieve with, with this dish. Yummy. Oh, wow. And then, creamy. of course, the yeah. mushrooms. <laughs> Exactly. We use wild mushrooms. Yes. So we use Hen of the Woods mushrooms. We use Bluefoot mushrooms oh. and King Oyster mushrooms. Right. Oh, wow. Right. Nice. So it's a true wild mushroom risotto. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And it smells really good. Exactly. And even with a cold, I can smell this. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and get a pot going okay. here. Yes. Yes. Tell us how you do this with the cream. A, a little more uh, grapeseed oil. Okay. For the risotto, again, I just put a little bit of uh, cream in the pot. Just basically yeah. just regular mm -hmm. cream? Okay. I add my, my par-cooked risotto, so it's cooked about 75% of the way. Okay. And then I add the mushrooms. And I kind of <laughs> let that incorporate. So okay. once it and gets I, to yeah. that 75% point, right. that's when you add the mushrooms. And as you can see, it kind of gets nice and fluffy. Mm -hmm. and Yeah, it's very delicious. Yeah, oh, it looks good. good. Right. It looks now, good. That grapeseed oil. What else, is there anything else you, you, you recommend using Absolutely. that for? Absolutely. I've can, never heard can, of that before. Yeah, you can use extra virgin olive oil. You can oh, use uh, yeah. canola oil. No, I mean like other than fish. Like, what do you do? You recommend that for the high smoke? Oh, absolutely. If, if you're serving a steak or a or a piece of, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to right. learn. I'm not a cook. No, okay. No, I'm absolutely. I, I understand. <laughs> I'm you can do it with uh, with <laughs> beef, with chicken, uh -huh. Uh -huh. with vegetables, anything. Okay. Yeah, it's a really, really okay. good oil. Right. No, that is a, it's a good question because I never cook with grapeseed. And I've heard it mentioned before and I always mm -hmm. think, that sounds really yeah. cool. And it's just, you know, you're the expert. So, right. Right. so trust, I got some going here in the pot. Uh-huh. A little, little bit of fresh garlic. Uh, okay. That always makes it a little better. I'm going to add my uh, my baby spinach. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Baby spinach is good. Right. A little bit of white wine. Ooh. Any kind? Just basic cooking wine? Yeah, a dry white wine like a chablis or... Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Something nice. real dry, yeah. Give it okay. some flavor. 
Perfect. And of course, some salt. Mm-hmm. And some white pepper. Oh, this looks so spectacular. Yeah. Now, also, too, uh, at the restaurant, we do have a private dining room. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seats up to 14 guests. Oh, so it's a good place for a party, yeah. birthday, celebration. Right. I want to let everybody know actually how they can find you if they haven't been to the San Diego Resort Casino. I highly recommend heading over. I, I've been there to play, but I haven't been there to eat yet, so I will definitely be making my way over there for the food. Mm -hmm. You can, of course, contact 505-798-3700 for reservations, and you can see all the rest of the information on your screen right now. And before we go to commercial break, what's our next step? What I'm going to do now is go ahead and get my plate ready. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm going to use my nice ring mold, Ooh. where I'm going to put the risotto in the ring mold okay. to give it that nice presentation, the height. Yes. Oh, yes, yes. Right. So we're done with the cooking, we're on to the presenting and then the eating, right? Absolutely. That's our awesome. favorite part. And yeah. for today's recipe, just log on to Casa.com and we will be back to eat this spectacular <laughs> meal. Yum. We want to wish everybody a very safe and happy holiday weekend. Look at this presentation. Thank you, Chef Mark. You Thank it. you so good. much from Bien Sure. That is for sure going to be <laughs> one heck of a meal that we're going to taste in just a moment. You're going to add that little cream on top. Yeah. Ah, uh, that makes everything just a little bit better. And we want to thank all of today's guests so much. And if there's anything that you need to know about today's show, please just log on to our website at casa.com. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Bravo. Please come to Bien Sure. And Okay, right let's, can oh, we do I'm this? try some right now. Yeah, let's try some right now. I'm going to, yeah. sorry, I'm going to ruin the presentation, but I'm going to oh. kind of take it off the plate so I don't get germs. Let me know what you think. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Let me go for Thanks it. Thanks again, everybody. Have a great holiday weekend. We'll be back live on Tuesday. Have a good one. Mmm. Thank you. Oh, awesome. Oh. oh.